imbere ya nebe imbere ya ya zahagarara yo zavanzanya minyango yose
Nago twaye twemere kugera hera hawe ariko ngo umwende abatagutsemo kabiri kugira ngo twigerereyo uyu mugoro wa mwami twaje kukuramya twaje kugushyira hejuru data mwiza nta wundi twaje kuramya ni wowe gusa ni wowe gusa mwami ni wowe gusa ukwiriye cyubahiro ni wowe gusa ukwiriye gushirwa hejuru
A mighty hand clap to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a good evening we have tonight. I'd like to pray with you. You're here all listening and watching on TV. We are concluding this theme with, with this week with a the theme to lay off the way that is in the world. And the next week we shall be in the way that is in the world. There is a place where God is going to make you cross. There is another level God is taking you to. And there is another level to which God is making you to enter. Be ready to cross over in the next week to come. But let us lay off what was remaining. Let's go in 1 Samuel. Chapter 17. Verse 38 to 39. We welcome you all in Zion, the dwelling place of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maze Sauri. Yambika Dawidi imyambaro ye n'ingofero y'umuringa ku mutwe amwambika nikoti riboheshejwe iminyururu Dawidi ahera ko yambara inkota ku myambaro ye agerageje kugenda agerageza kugenda nkuko yari atarabimenyereye Dawidi abwira Saul ati simbasha kujyana ibi kuko ntabimenyereye so, so Saul clothed David with his armor and put a bronze helmet on his head. He also clothed him with a coat of mail. David fastened his sword on his armor and tried to walk, for he had not tested them. And David said to Saul, I cannot walk with this, for I have not tested them. So David took them off. Amen. 
Are you ready to take off? Can we pray a prayer to take off whatever is waiting? Taking off is your own responsibility. It's not the responsibility of God. Saul closed David. David and David said, I'm not used to this. I don't know what they made you put on. I don't know what life has made you put on. I don't know what kind of garment you're putting on. I don't know what kind of words you have on yourself that can make you not to cross over. But tonight, I would like to take this moment to take off what they have made us put on, what Saul has closed us with, that cloth of fear from Saul, that garment of indiscipline from Saul, he was putting it on David. David said, no, no, this can't happen. This garment, I cannot put it on. And so he took it off. And then he went to fight Goliath. Let us give Jesus the glory. There is another garment you may put on and you don't have victory. You cannot put on the garment from Saul and then you have victory. It requires you to take it off. It requires you to take it off. Laying off the bad thoughts from Saul. Laying off the, the fear from Saul. Taking off the indiscipline from Saul. Taking off all the weakness from Saul. I'm telling you of what you are going to pray if you want to get your promises what you want to get to what God says lay off what they have made you put on 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 they call you upon your home what they call you at your place what they have made you put on they have made you put on what 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 they have made you put on in the name of Christ. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God, I take off the garment from Saul. I take off the garment from Saul. David, he clothed him with the garment from Saul. And then he said, I'm not used, I cannot make it. I cannot, I'm not used to this. I'm laying off anything that people have put on me in the dishonor or the kind of gossip or the cussing or the kind of gossip of things. I take them off because of your grace. I take them off because of your honor. Your word is a good person. Any word that may be calling me. It does not want me to develop. It does not want me to be enlarged. I take you off in the name of Jesus Christ. I take off on the garment of soul. The garment of fear. The garment of disobedience. The garment of the unrighteousness. Of Saul, I take them off. I want to cross over. I'm waiting into your promises. Going into your victory. Going into your blessings. Lord, I take off the garment of Saul. 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 I take I take off the water I'm making you make me. I take them off in the name of Jesus. I take them all that in the name of Jesus. That have been closed by people. That have been talked about by people. That have been closed by life. That have been closed by life. All those garments and those garments. I take them off my Lord King of Kings. I take them off in front of the owner. That the kind of image you will see me. I take it out in the name of Jesus Christ. I take it out in the name of Jesus. I take it out in the name of Jesus. Any garment they see me through, any garment they speak me through, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I take it off, my good Lord. In this evening, Father, King of Kings, in this time of the crossing over, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we take off all the things from Saul. We take all the wisdom of people. We take off all the people who have made us know. We are putting on your garments. We are putting on your garments. 
chijugu utende iki chijugu ibi chango bitavuga imana muri iki chijugu twabisanda za mwizina rya Yesu ibi chango bitaramba imana aho biri hose twabisanda mwizina rya Yesu Kristo iki chango cyawe cyake muri iki chijugu cyacu uri imana yo kwizerwa uri imana ya masezerano waravuze ko iki chijugu kizatwara umuco kwisi yose reka gakiza kawe gakwiri si yose kavuye muri iki chijugu cyacu turagukomera mashimama ndumva twasengera abantu barwaye I would like us to pray for those who are sick. We are going to pray for the people who are sick. I don't know if you have any sick person or you know anyone who is sick. But then there is power of healing tonight. There is a power of healing tonight. So we are going to pray for them that Jesus may heal the sick. Those who have the sick of the skin, the sickness of the spirit, the sickness of their emotions, that Jesus may heal them. The power of healing is here. You are following us in your bed sick bed. You are hearing radio fancy. We are praying to you for you tonight that the power will heal you. The power of God will touch you. Be ready to be touched by the power of God. There is a God that heals all our diseases. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, your word says that you forgive all our transgressions and then you heal us all our diseases. Father, I pray for each other and everybody who has sick any kind of sickness that your hand, oh my God, should touch them right now in this evening that your power, my Father, your power that is healing, your power of deliverance, it should touch all the sick people in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I pray for those in their sickness. I pray for those in their homes that your hand should find them and touch them in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. I pray for any woman on their pains in the name of Jesus Christ, let your labor pains come when it's normally, let your labor pains come at this moment, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, all the time, my God, they have no labor pain in the whole day, but then I pray for them in the name of Jesus, but let the labor pains come normally, the ayah should be by Jews, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let the labor pains come when it's normally, 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 those who are sick by their skin, those who are bound by demons, heal them. Those who are sick in the heart, heal them. And let your miracles be performed tonight. And let your power of healing be upon your people. In this evening, my God, we thank you for the power that you have given us. Say that we receive healing. Those who are sick by their skin, those who are bound by demons, 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 those who are Muri kumwe na Apostle Dr. Paul Ogitwaza isezano ryo munsi ibyo uzagambirira bizaba uko ushaka ibyo uzagambirira bizaba uko ushaka mu gitabo cha Yobu 22 ku murongo wa 28 uzagira icyo ugambirira kikubera uko ushaka kandi umucyo uzamurikira inzira zawe umva imana yemeye imigambi ya Yemeye imitekereze yawe ikintu cyose kiza kiguteza imbere giteza abandi imbere giteza ubwoko bwawe imbere giteza igihugu cyawe imbere giteza umugabane wawe imbere giteza urubyaro rwawe imbere giteza abandi bantu imbere abatishoboye abakene abatindi abatareba abadafite shinge na rugero umugambi mwiza wose ugiye kugambira mu mutima wawe imana irakubwiye ngo bizaba uko ushaka Uzagira icyo ugambirira bikubera kushaka ndetse imana igiye kuguha umucyo uzakumurikira uko uzabikora mana ndagushima ko rewe wuzuza imigambi y'abana bawe 
ikiri mu mitima yacu mwami uragiso ndibuka usoza umugambi Daudi yarafite ku mwana we Salomo nawe ni kugiye kubikorera abana bawe mwami ngo ibyo tuzagambirira bizaba uko tubishaka ndagusaba ngo umwe mwami gukora umwe gutekereza umwe kurota kugira ngo inzo zize zizabe impamu mu izina rya Yesu Manu lakoze ko umwiyeretse kandi umuhaye kugambirira nkuka wera mwongorere imigambi yose agomba gukora myiza mwereke inzira agomba gucamo hanyuma umurikirishe umuco wawe agera wa muhamagariye urakoze kubikoze mu izina rya Yesu amen Mighty hand clap and a shout of joy. Amen. Come you all in Zion, the dwelling place. For those who are here, let us applaud ourselves. And those who are listening on Radio Authentic, we welcome you in this evening. For those watching on TV Authentic, you too, we welcome you all together. May the Lord God bless you wherever I are. Those watching on Facebook and YouTube, May God do good to you. We are in Zion, the dwelling place of God. So you did well to follow this service in this evening. We are here in a good moment again. We are receiving the jingle from the One Stone Project. Announcing to the whole church and the friends of Zion to support this project. To support this project. One stone project. The code number to which you send in your contributions is 032000. Registered on Zion Temple Celebration Center. Let us hear this jingle. Yes, Ashimwe Chane, Goko Bimana, Hobe Hobe Hobe, Unga Kamuiza, Wawiri Makumiaviri, Nakaviri. Ndagira ngo mbibutse ku mushinga wacu ibuye rimwe dufite inyuba ko tugomba kubaka ku musozo wa masengesho dufite inyuba ko tugomba kubaka hirya no hino nkaba mbone yo kubibutsa ko uyu mwaka wa 2022 tugiye gutangira kandi umushinga wacu ibuye rimwe umwaka ushize mwagaragaje gutanga ariko siko bose babishoboye cyangwa se babyitabiriye ndabasaba ngo uyu mwaka twitabire tugicyo dutanga muvuzo kuri yo tubasha kwitabira tuba twarakoze ibikorwa bikomeye ariko muzi ko twahuye n'ibibazo bikomeye bya covid n'ibindi byose byatunye amatoro menshi asa nafunzwe kandi atabashe gukora ariko uyu mwaka turabona ibintu bitangiye kwa byiza ndabasaba rero ngo duhagurukire icyarimwe tubashe kugira ico dukora e, ibuye rimwe ryavuye ku kitekerezo muri buka Daudi mu mvumba yarafite nako mu ruhago rwa yarafite mu mabuye atanu bibiri iravuga ngo agiye kurwanya mu Filistia ngo akabakabamo akura mu ibuye rimwe ari mu kocoye mu Filistia gwa hasi Israeli irabohoka ndagira ngo umenye ko hasigaye eh, amabuye ane mu mvumba ya Daudi turabasaba ba Kristo bazana tempo hari kindi gihanda kituri imbere gihanda cyo bukene kindwara kibazo cy'ingora nibindi byose wongere kandi ukabakawe mu mvumba yawe ukure mu iryo buye rimwe dukore nkuko Daudi yabigenje dukocore mu Filistia uduhagaza imbere zane tempo nta mutera nkunga igira uretse wowe ditugira ba missionnaire abandi badufasha missionnaire wacu ni wowe dero hirya no hino kwisi mu mazone tempo yacu mu bitandukanye hariho abantu bashinzwe kugira ngo bashike kwakira uwo musanzu umukristo wese wazo in tempo agomba cyangwa se asabwe gutanga umusanzu mu Rwanda ungana n'igihumbi cy'amanyarwanda eh umuvuga butumwa bigizi niwe wakira iyo nkunga telefone ngenda nwaye ni 078 878 2007 879 turasaba abashumba bacu bose mu Rwanda kubwira abakristo bacu buri mu Kristo gatanga amafaranga igihumbi buri kwezi ufwa ngo umwa kuzarangira ari ibihumbi 12 umuntu wese wo mu mambre was in temple ya kumugisho imano bane namwe imane bagiriye neza turasaba ngo Kristo bacu bose uhereye ku mwana kweza ku muntu mukuru muzitabire buri buri kwezi gusohoza uyu mugambi kugira ngo tugere ku bintu bikomeye imana yadusabye gukora mana ndagushima kubwa bene data bose bazitanga kuri iki gikorwa ndasaba umugisha ubarinde indyanyi ubarinde inyatsi ubarinde ubuzukira nakagungu nazanga bozose uteza abantu bose batatu 
gukora umurimo wawe ndasaba ngo zikure imbere yabo bakaba kawe mu mvumba yabo bakure mu ibuye babasha gukocora ubukene indwara ibibazo ingorane mu izina rya Yesu ubwo bahagurukiye gukora umurimo wawe naho hagurukiye mu mwamiko wakoresha ibikomeye reka umugishuro manukire mu izina rya Yesu Kristo umwami wacu amen yes abaho mugi Let that blessing flow down to you. Let us give in our offerings and pay our tithe as well. You know we are using Momo Pay as your familiar code with it. And the code number of Zion Temple Celebration Center 03780 hash. Registered on Zion Temple Celebration Center. For those outside the nation, you may use World Remit. Plus 250. 7-8. 59. 36. 915. Registered on Authentic Word Ministries. We also have baskets in our business for those who came with cash to use them for offering. And those on their cell phones, you can use it. We thank you, our good Lord, for the people who have brought in their offerings and their tithe in your house. Cleanse and purify them by your blood and let it be a pleasing aroma before you. Receive them, Lord, and bless them. Open the heavens for their behalf and also take away any devourer and tell them and heal them and let your miracles be upon their lives. Bless those who are here in the sanctuary, on the radio and TV, and even YouTube. on Facebook and YouTube. All those people remember them and open the heavens for their sake. And those who have nothing also remember them that the next time they may bring offerings in your house, be praised and be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. May the Lord Jesus bless you as we offer to our God being ready to hear the word of God Pastor Eric Ndizé, with Pastor Eric Ndizé who was with us the whole entire week and may God bless him richly Amen, Amen.
of all the praises. You are the God who is worthy. Worthy, worthy God. You are worthy of all the praise. Worthy to be honored. Worthy to be bound down for. Bow down. You are worthy of all our praises. You are worthy to be believed in. You are worthy to have hope in. You did well to us. And still you're still doing to us. You loved us. And you're still loving us. And we too, we are thanking you. We give you the honor. And we are talking of your greatness. We are talking of your masses. We are talking of your beauty. We are talking of your holiness. We are talking that we you are good, do good. You did good to us. And even today you continue to do good. We have the people that have come to seek you. And the church, good Lord, we need you that you may strengthen us and we continue this journey and strengthen us we continue to in the rest you continue, you continue to strengthen us in the name of Jesus all the things that are bringing us down there are many all those delays are many but all those who are disturbing us are many but then there is power that is in you and and when it comes, it comes and supports those who believe in you. Support us by your power in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You the God of honor. You the God of honor. The God of all authority. The God of all authority. The God of power. The God of honor. It's you that we believe in. It's you that we are focusing our eyes on. In all our days, Father, we are focusing on you. In all our times, we are focusing on you. In times of difficulty, we are focusing on you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, do good to us. And we too, we will thank you. Amen. 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 Azaf, may God 
thank, bless you. Thank you so much. May God bless you richly. Amen. Amen. You did well to come in the house of God church in this time of the evening. There are those who didn't have the chance to come in the first two services. Maybe because of different responsibilities they have. Others went to school. Others because of the time. But then it is good for you thought about it and said, I'll go in the house of God this evening. The God of the morning, he is the God of the evening. The God in the morning is the God in the evening. The God of yesterday is still the God of today. The God of today, he will be the God of yesterday. Yeah, he doesn't change, you know. We are the people who change. He never loses his power. He never loses his love. He's never fading. We people, we are the ones who lose it. We are the only ones who lose our color. We are the only people who do not focus on our targets. It's only we. But then this God, this God, he denied. He denied to change. He denied it. He said, I'll keep my love, the love that I love the people. God and man, they have a long history. God loves man in a very, very strange way. God loves man in a very strange way. If you are saved, and you cannot pull up this love of God, there is still an issue. That is the first thing that can, can love you. The love of God. Why does it pull us or attract us? It's where it started from. God loved us when we are not supposed even to be loved. He continued to be patient with us, yet we did not want him to love us. Do you know that a person can deny to be loved and they deny it completely? But God is full of love. In this week, we have a theme that says, let us lay off all the weight that hinders us in this rest. Let us lay off all the weight that is and even any other sin that is, that, is that, is that is clinging to us. It is a theme that we have spent the entire week talking about. From Tuesday we were sharing about it. On Wednesday, on Thursday, and even today we also talked about it. There are things God is telling us that we should lay off that we may continue this journey we are in. In fact, the, the Bible compares it to a race. For us, the people may go to hear the heaviness in it. When things are called a competition, then there comes different levels. There comes a different kind of things that it should also be in this competition. Any competition, it has guidelines. Any competition, it has where it starts from and also where it has end, ends from. Any competition, it has what shows it is a competition. Any person coming for a competition, they are quite different from this person who walk in the morning and they feel they should walk and stretch their legs. So you have no guidelines. But then when you're coming for a competition, there are things you need. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, starting from verse 1, the Bible says, 
that therefore since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses let us lay off all the weight that is burdening us and any sin that is hindering us and then we run to where we are supposed to be for looking unto Jesus who is the author of our faith that he bear the cross for the joy that was set before him. And he do not even care about the shame. But then he's sitting before the throne of God. That he bared the cross. For the joy that was set before him. Amen. Amen. And he did not even care about the shame. What kind of joy are we saying? what joy are we talking about that was set before Jesus that was the church he was seeing the church and then it would make him to be patient he would see the output of it and then let him to be patient when you are in a journey that is taking you from your past and taking you from your, to your future then it requires you fruit a fruit which is called patience. When you are in this journey that is going to your tomorrow, it requires you a fruit. A fruit called patience. People who have no patience, they, they came out of this race. The people who lacked faith, they, they left this condition. Then God has, he was done with their promise. Those who lacked faith, those, they, they are discouraged when God was ready to do good to them. And so we said, and we said, who the word is telling right now to lay off all the way that is on them. And then we came to find that people they are in two, they are in different categories of in their, uh, their in their heaviness. All of you here, you are not heavy in the same Life way. Life is not difficult in the same way. So we are in different categories. There are some people, they are burdened by the very great power. For them themselves, they have no power over it or to take it off. And these people, their lives, they are down. They are in hell. In the world of darkness. And though they are here in the world, but their control room of their lives is down in hell. The thing that happened to them, they cannot even explain it. Even the society they live in, they cannot even receive it. And so we gave an example we gave an example of people who are bound if you may see these uh, gods and other kind of animals you find when a god they have put a rope in its neck and then they tie it on a tree so that they may take, eat grass from the zone it is standing on. Meaning this God, there is no any other place it can reach to. Wherever it reaches, it should be according to the rope or the size of the rope. So in that diameter of where it is, of its rope, this is where it can walk around. So there are times people, when they live in the same life, which does not change, it always repeats itself. A one year passes and another one comes. So these were different themes. But then your life, it has only one color. Your lifestyle is where the weakness one year passes when you're still the other person. Why is it happening? In the control room of your life, Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. Such kind of people, God also loves them. Though in the face of people, it's like their life is finished completely. There is a man in the Bible, we compared him, in this case, he's a man who lived in Magdalene, in the nation of Magdalene. So the Bible tells us that Jesus crossed the sea and went over and crossed over 
Magadare. In, in the country of Magadare. And there was a man. And there was a man. Who had problems. And society had laid him aside. And he would cut himself with stones. And he lived in the tomb. And whenever he changes. He would go up on the mountain. And he could shout all day. And then the people of that city. They said this man is taking off our peace. Why doesn't he die or leave another place? So they had this thought. Of seeking change. And then they bound him more. And then this man, all those chains, he would cut them off. That is the story in Mark chapter 5. Why? Because this man, he was bound internally. In him, there were powers of darkness that are binding up his life. And this would cause him to have other powers of outside. And so many people, they are bound inside. Their hearts are bound. Their lives are bound. What has bound them inside, it has a control of their lives outside. What has bound their hearts, it has a control of their families. What has bound their hearts, it has a control on their hands. What has bound their hearts, it has a control on their thoughts and minds. Now because he was bound in family, so it gave him the power outside and then he would break the chains. People see you in bondage and then they also add on the rope. That a kind of life they you in. They found you in problems and they also have to strengthen it. The one who is bound is the one not to, to put the problem in. Is the one to pray for. Is the one to pray for. Is the one to call God upon. And Jesus saw it that he was the man who was being led away. And then he prepared a journey. And he said I'm going to this country. The country of Mandela. God is preparing a journey. Coming up for one Pastors. God is preparing a journey because of one family, because of one family, because of one child, because of you only. You are valuable before God to the extent that heaven is coming up for you. You are valuable to the extent that you are in the plans of God. You are valuable to the extent God is living what he has. So the Bible says that he saw that to be compared to God was nothing to hold fast. And then he came down on the world. And then he was abused. And he was spit into. And those who are not right yet more than him. Why? Because of the son of man. And God said, son of man, I will not leave you. Yes, Jesus then prepared a journey. Jesus prepared this journey that is coming to your address. Does God know your address? Yego. Yes, he knows. He knew what was bringing him Yego. up. Yego. He had come to start Yego. what people had put an end to. Yego. He had come to make a start Yego. to what people have no hope Yego. for. There are things you have no hope for. Yego. There are things that people have concluded Yego. that it will never be possible Yego. again. Yego. And they feel true and their people we have already put aside there are cases before us when we see it we see it is done and finished but then when God sees this case when he examines and he says is this the person you saw this offer but I can see he is a bishop I can see him serving me so Jesus saw that man and saw his end and then he saw him praising the gospel. And he stands in the start and then he sees the end. One time he told Peter he said when you are a young man you can close yourself and you go wherever you want. But that time will come another person will come and then you lay out your hands and that person will close you and take you where you don't want to go. So the Bible explains he said what was he meant? 
happened. He was meeting about the end of Peter. The way he will allow to die when he's upside down. And then he stands in the start and speaks of the end. May God, God knows your end. The things people have concluded that it will never happen to you. But God is coming to start it over. The project that people have said God is coming to start them over. The promise that has been tortured God is coming to give it value that there has no value in it. God is coming to give it value. The light that people have taken their value of because of the sacrifices of the society God himself is coming to a journey to come back and give you value of that which has no value anymore. My brethren, have hope. Have hope. Have hope. And walk with God. Always walk with the one who knows your future. Do not walk with people who just see in your past, who remind you of your weaknesses, who remind you of your past times, which have no value. Always walk with people who believe and believe in your future. So this man, when he looked at Jesus, and when he he was very far. He ran out to him and he went down to him. When he got before him, he bowed down before him and he said, what, what do I have to do with you? What do we have to do with this son of God? And Jesus said, who are you? And he said, who are you? And he said, who are you? I said, that we are a He's in my name. Yes, and Jesus got to know that he is not only this man, but yes, he knew he knew before he even crossed. He knew what was bringing him. And Jesus knows why he is coming. He knows the large or big or the of your problem. There is no reason for you to explain. He said, you know, you know I always go to the so you can tell me that when you want me to give you 500 francs, but then God you stand before him and then he will see every package. He will see what is seen and he will see what is invisible to people. And then he saw that this man is burdened by a heavy power. And then he said, how many are you? He said, what? <laughs> we are so many. We are a legion. That is our name. We are a legion. Legion. Eh. So Jesus said, What? But a, a legion demon. of demons Mumu, in just one man, and you walk with it. So now, if it is, it is possible that agenda. you can also walk Iman. with God. Niba. If Mumu, num. only one man Abashakuzur. can possess. Daimon. Demons, meaning that this one man can be also filled with God. If one man can be filled, they can to host the world of darkness. Then this one man can also host the heaven. And then heaven can come in your heart. So who are those to go to heaven? There are the people who heaven is already in their hearts. Who are to go to heaven? There are people who heaven is already in their hearts. Now if heaven can, is not yet in your heart, then you won't go to heaven. How many are going to heaven here? There are people that heaven has already found in us and he didn't come in him, him, but he's only not known him. him. But then, those who believed in him and opened their hearts, they have given him to be a son of God. And those people, they have the power to take care of what is burdening them. And those people, they have the power to overcome this world. And these people, they have the power to live in the City. And these people they have the power to live when they are great and they have the salvation. I, the problem you have is that you did not train yourself to walk with God, the God which has changed your life. You did not train yourself to be saved when you've eaten. Now you got used to the salvation of the people in sorrow. You did not train yourself to be saved when you're getting a good salary. You are got used to the salvation of people who are tired. You did not train yourself to be saved when you've been promoted. You only used to to be saved in just mere positions. Who has been promoted? And 
then he speaks of the feet of God. And who is God given money. And then they gave salvation. If God can change your life. And then you come to serve him. You did not train yourself to do this. And this is the reason why. The life of this world. It is so hard for you. The man called Eastern Bolt. Is a man in athletics. He was also in the times past. And even in fact he's my same age. He's. Yes. In 86 that's when he was born. In 2017 he, he retired. In 30 something years. He is the only man. First man. Who runs. Meterijana. Um, 100 meters and a hand, 200 meters in a very short moment and he's followed by an Italian who's called Jacobs you send both. You send both. We, run. we run only 9 seconds and even 58 seconds miles per hour. that is my, 25 miles per hour the one who follows him he runs 9 seconds nine minutes minutes with 60 something seconds so they ask him what happened both and he said my secret it required me four years so that I may run nine seconds it required me four years to train myself just taking off my weight taking my time that I may also get to my time. so it requires you to train that you may also overcome it requires you to train yourself you may also get to what is before you. If there are those which are running after you, they at a very quick pace of the lion, then it requires you to train. They to enable you to run more than the speed of the lion. Now lay off all the weight that is burdening you and even any sin that is encircling you and hurting you. Now because of this is what is making you to lay in this journey. Amen. And so when Jesus saw this man, he said, So then as negotiations started, this man said, Now, I beg you, do not kill me a very bad death. Jesus said, What? Now, this is what hell and earth are death. It is has no, traumatized us. Even the demons. Do you know they fear death? They fear to die a bad Can death. Bo, Yet for them, they are the ones shinyago. which quit, kill people the bad hame hame So let them stay in the Heaven is standing up for them. Hame so let them stay calm. When, because they chose hame hame. Let them stay there. This is why they, they see the power of God. Zihura, when powers meet, then always go aside. When powers collide for God, when they meet the powers of God, always go away. Because God is going to hit the demons and they will not go back when into your home. Zira, when you are under way, that God is going to hit the demons they will not touch your children again. The power of God, when it speaks the power of darkness, one will understand the other. And then they understand, then they recognize him. And then they bow down before him. him. It is only him who does not know the heaviness and power of your God. But in hell, Baramus. they know him very well. Baramus. They know him. Baramus. They had read the books. Baramus. Remembering the death of Jesus. Baramus. The way he came abruptly when they were in the meeting. Satan. When Baramus. the people Baramus. were lying to them that they have the victory. Baramus. And when he had left him on the cross. Baramus. When they were still in that meeting. Baramus. And they had a footsteps. Baramus. And they saw a very great Life, the power of God came down going down to hell and so the devil said and said truly you, you just found us in this meeting with collecting all the keys you were lying to your demons and you have killed God and now you are changing the subject and saying that you are collecting the, the keys it's like now all the, the, the customs we do in, in our wedding they come to us and we say we have come from a district and we have also achieved our performance targets. So when Jesus going to hell, 
the light shone upon Aha, them. Anyuze. And wherever he passes, Aha, all the saints that had died, all their graves got open and they went out. Aha, they walked around the city of Aha, Jerusalem. Aha, they would see what has been achieved. Aha, and they say, oh, the person who died went Aha, earlier. Aha, you can see they will see what was achieved in the city. Transition. They were in a transition going to the paradise. When God is just also distracting, they went past via the, the city and they should read themselves to people and people saw them. And so the man of Bangladesh, where we counted Jesus, the demon said, do not kill us. We beg you only one thing. Do not take us out of this nation. So they are negotiating Jesus of the nation. They did not say do not take us out of this man. But then they said here, they said do not take us out of this nation. In other words, the mission they had was not this man. It is the nation. So the demons, they are asking God for the nation. And the women the believers, we are asking for shoes. The demons is negotiating the nation, but the church then, we are negotiating for food, demons. and the demons, they are negotiating, they are negotiating the nation, and there is a robbing of the nation, and the nation is also being taken, it is just there, the nation of Magdalene, it was just there, and the demons, they were negotiating God, that, that God give us this nation. And so they propose to God that you just send us to those pigs. Why? Is giving them this authority the demons to ask for the pigs of these people, the pigs of an investor. Why is the demon what is giving him that responsibility in your home? Why is the demon what gives him the reason or the right on your children? There is a gate they enter through. So the Bible is telling in the book of Judges that the Midianites when they overcame the Israelites and the Lord and told them the reason. So there is a reason of the reason of any situation. There is a reason of the every lifestyle and the life of the Israelites. It was hidden because God, God has given them into the hands of the Midianites. Not even a child remained in their home. Whenever they used to fight, then the Midianites would come they into their home house home. and then would put them to lost. And they lived in great poverty. And after that they told God. And they cried out to God. And they fell before the Lord. And God told them. He told them he sent a prophet. I go and tell these people. Remind them where I took them from. I took them from Egypt. I fought for them. When they came in this place. They forgot about me. And now they are, they are, funny, they are doing sin. Now I took my mercy out of them. And now the world will see them. Daimon. The demons, they are asking for the pigs of an investor. And Jesus said, these pigs, okay, you can go. So they entered into the pigs. And the pigs as well, they ran down into the sea. And so Jesus said, voila. Now, this is it. In other words, they were going back to where they come from. They are going back to their origin. It was the wealth of an investor who went to hell to ask for wealth. And then they accepted it. And they also asked for him for a sacrifice. He sacrificed this young man. And this young man, they filled him with demons. And so the wealth of the man who sacrificed, they were pigs. And these pigs, they went back to the sea. Now because of the honor, he was working with the spirits of the marine, the marine spilled. You see people when they own things, when you don't know where they take them from, they are not all, but some of them, they have things in 
So this city of Mangdu, there were deals of human trafficking, of giving them into sacrifices. So this man, and you see him, Kumbi, in other words, he was the Bani sacrifice of society. People are seeking sacrifices. They see you as a food for the devil. And they give you to a sacrifice. Jesus had come to put to a stop that kind of working in that system. They are very wrong working in are in the systems. In the systems of many cities. Of, of fornication and drunkenness. They just abrupt death that comes from sacrifices. So this is what was bringing Jesus. He was not brought by one man. In other words, Jesus was coming to the rescue of this nation. In truth, God was coming to rescue this nation. The devil was going through this this private sector. He may go in different places. He may even go through religion. He may go through politics. He may go through even in other levels of leadership. But then Jesus is coming to expose the plans of darkness. Jesus is coming to expose the systems of darkness that they may be taken off in all nations in Nangdalene and even our nation. There is nothing bringing Jesus is to put to a stop all the projects of the enemy, the projects of the investors that is admitting that is in the plans of God. God is coming to bring down all the wealth all the wealth is coming to fall down that is coming from hell yes, Jesus is standing up there are things that are making God to stand up there are things that God is annoyed of there are things that God is so much annoyed there are things that are bringing God here you will see it in the news yes, Jesus is coming and he is coming with great anger yes, Jesus is coming he is coming with great anger there are things is going to be, be yes, they are binding his people and not making them to be served. You may want to be served and the system of your place of work will deny you. You. you may want to be served the city you live in does not allow you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it was this the example of one person who was bound. The other people were bound. Jesus delivers them and then breaks the rope from her is cut and so they run with the rope they have around their neck. Because the rope it has two sides where you're bound and where you are in your neck. When heaven is cut, when hell is cut, there are people who are like as if they escaped from the enemy. They are running. They can run. They come to church. They say, huh, where are you? He said, we are not singing and the songs. And they, where is the practice? We are in, in praising songs. You start singing, we are delivered, we are delivered. But you are singing it with a rope around your neck. There are such kind of people are the ones Jesus is turning to and he's telling them that lay off the weight around you of any kind and even any sin that is encircling or enticing you. And now it's coming to our responsibility. Before it was the responsibility of God. But now God is bringing you to where you can also fight for yourself. He's taking you out of hell. He has made you a person that you may enter into the rest. There is one Jesus you will reduce your journey that you also may continue where you can run. So he took Peter from the jail and then put him in the city. And then he said, now Peter, you can go. And now the church where they were praying 
and he knocked. He said, I am here. Jesus took him out of prison and then he put him in the city. He said, now you can take over. Jesus took Lazarus from the grave and took him from the grave and he came out back. When he got out, Jesus told the people around, now you can take off the cross from here. There are things that you can also do for yourself. He's taking off what you cannot do for yourself. He is now remaining what you can do for yourself. So lay off all the weight and every energy that is encircling you to encircle before you. Now lay off all the bad character. Lay off all the values from Egypt. In 1 Peter, chapter 5, the Bible says that in the time of past, it was enough for us to do what the pagans were loving, but and even for shameful things, and also for worshiping idols. And even for the case. But now in this time, it is not also up to death. There are people God has taken from afar. But today, they want to take back their thoughts in Egypt. And they also miss the onions from Egypt. They miss the garlic from Egypt. They miss and they have to Complain. Life is making people to sin. Promises are making people to sin. Israel. Israel. They started complaining. Oh, the onions in Egypt. Oh, the fish we had not to pay for. Now Moses is bringing us here coming to kill us here with hunger. And these people they are the ones who cried out to God in Egypt because they are being used in slavery and the Egyptians hated them so much. They hated them and they sold their children they should kill them. You remember that story. And they deployed me to go and kill any seed and now the two midwives who came from to God's side and they also had to rescue the children from the Hebrews. In that time, God had already visited a redeemer of Israelites. And then he saw a young baby a baby called Moses who was born in a family in very difficult times. When they are seeking to kill all children, all you are young children who are boys. And so God said, This is the person I'm going to make my plan to go through. The young baby was brought up in the hands of their parents until the parents could not bear it anymore. And they brought him up for only three months. Now, when they saw that they are no longer able to continue hiding him, then they had to make a basket for him. And then after, they sent him into the swamp. There are things that God accepts to happen. That you should get to go out and come at door. And so now you know how where the baby was brought up for. But where the baby is crying, God is hearing. You're not rejected. But you have put to broad daylight. It was necessary to that Pharaoh could not come in the Hebrews family and then take up their child to take care of them. So it was necessary for this child to get out of this home that God may follow him up and also make him go through his life. And so he calls her and the daughter of Pharaoh he came down and saw the child in the basket. And then the sister of Moses was nearby watching. The city girls they know how to fight for themselves. These children from the city, there is a way how they can bring back things which are lost. They know how to deal with things. She said, my brother is not going to die from here. And she said, let me show you me the city garden. And she would look at them. And then she saw that the daughter of Pharaoh was looking at this basket. The baby cried. And she said, bring him to me. So the, the, sister, of the, 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 the sister of Moses, he said, my boss, 
How are you? Can I find you a Hebrew woman that can take care of that baby? And the daughter of Pharaoh said, yes. I mean, she went running and called the mother. Now, Moses was being brought up in the palace. But then officially he was brought up in their home. And then went back to the home of Pharaoh. God had already visited him. And then look, they took time to wait for him. And the baby to grow up. That he may redeem his people. So God is waited. He waited for your maturity. God God is waiting so that you should get to have wisdom. God is waiting that you may have power. God is waiting that your faith may come. God is waiting that you may be strengthened in this journey. God is waiting that he may see to save you. He has seen that God is making them glad that you may fast mature, that you may fast mature, that you may be strengthened, that you may have faith. God is waiting to get to be mature the maturity of Moses and when the prayers had come up to him God revealed to Moses in a burning bush and when the project started to restore the Israelites from Egypt so Moses asked God how is it going to happen God said that God tell them I've come down to restore them so the plan started from the Pharaoh it was a very hard battle there were so many plagues there were so many plagues God do used frogs God used for flies water turned into blood and the whole the whole, the whole, whole blood for the Israelites to be restituted and Pharaoh was tired and then released them and then God made them to cross the Jordan God did so many miracles in their midst God fought their walls and battles and he, did, he took water from the rock in the mount and it's why they were so God revealed himself to them on the Mount Sinai God also had to turn the bitter water of Mara and the Israelites they saw the works of God and they continued the journey so when they crossed over they started complaining complaining God remembered, remembered the journey he traveled with them. He remembered the works he did in their midst. And then his anger was aroused. And then he came down from heaven. And he killed many people among them. And then they went to Moses and cried. And then Moses, he put fire to the stone. And then he said, now create an altar, a remembrance, which is called Tabira. And this story, it is in the book of numbers chapter 11 so they built this remembrance which is called Tabara and they would come and visit it and they would look at it and remember what they had caused this fire to come. So they had complained to God. And God was very much hard. So after a short moment, the Bible says that the rumble that was among them they started also to desire. When they started to desire all things, and also the Israelites also remembered. They remembered the things in Egypt and they had to miss the onions and they say we want meat we want meat these kind of things of man we don't like it. we need meat we are dried up we no longer eat when we are in Egypt. Why am I bringing up this story? It's because many people they are sinning because of the life they are living. Why am I saying this? It's because many people they are sinning because of the promises they have. And then they ask, ask, ask what they forget what God has done. And then the process of their redemption has already started. They can also see that it has started. That's where God is, is when we are working. Now they are complaining the one who has come to redeem them. 
church of God what has made you forget the works of God what God has done in your life now you are putting on and you are smart and you think God has done nothing in your life now you have gone to Europe that's when you are putting salvation down what is making us to forget where God has taken us from what is making us to forget the works of God to the extent that we start to take part with the rumble in our midst so in Eden the devil was with Eve for a long time and then she, he made her to eat on the Iman fruit that God had denied them to eat Eva on. And then Eve ate on this fruit. Yibukigaruka. And then she remembered Satan the items. And then the devil told her who died in life. And yet, when they would see in their past, nobody has ever lived and died because they were the first. So the devil was, was telling her, tell me who has ever died. These are just tricks from God. So she came out and then what God had stopped her, she ate the fruit. After eating the fruit, she said, I will wait for the father of my children to eat on. He will eat on it. He will eat on it as well. There are times you go home and you find your spouse, you live together, they have eaten the fruit, the fruit of bitterness. And when you get there, they start telling you, you eat or need this fruit. There are times you go home and you find in your home, they have eaten the fruit, the fruit of their character. They have eaten it from their place of work and they are bringing it home. And you should eat it. And they meet the children on the, on the, the gate. They kick them. Eat on that fruit. And they get to the housemate. They kick. They eat on the fruit. They get to their marriage. And they eat on the fruit. If you have bad um, chance, the enemy makes you to eat the fruit. Always try all ever best that you should share it with other people. Israel. So the Israelites, they were be given the fruit with the rumble among them Fuzag. who were craving no, to and then they also had to no, complain. No, 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 no. And yet they had not they had, they had the same God. God. Do not lean on what people say. You don't have the same journey. So do not lean on people. people. You don't have the same destination. No, yes, they are a rumble. You are the people of God. So they chose. We have also chosen. So do not lean on the people who make you to eat the fruit. The fruit of the enemy. Do not lean on people. Who people who make you to eat the fruit. The fruit that they ate and took them out, out of Eden. And they went to the they want you to share it. That it should take you out of your promises. So do you always ask yourself if more, Adam, if Adam, Iaza, if he had not and come to find that he had eaten the fruit and then he said from now I am not no longer with you it would happen and now you come from a place where they were practicing sorcerism why did he come to you and you no longer practice no sorcerism it's because you said stop. There is a way that Satan brings and into our family and it continues and it has a Igasanga. bad chance. It finds you. We are already receiving the red fruit of Jesus. A, a very good fruit. Igasanga. And then they find a person who is a drunkard in your family when it comes to you drunkardness from your family it stops from you. So it was possible Adam that Adam would say that I will not eat this fruit because God denied us to now do so. Now it is possible you that you may stop all those who want to make you eat the fruit. There is 
making you separate from God and say that I chose Jesus. I chose Jesus. I chose Jesus. I chose Jesus. I will believe in him. And so he bared the cross because of the joy that I was set before me. It requires you to be patient and you continue the journey. It requires you to be patient and you lay off what is making you to delay and you say God when you rest the fruit of patience you should revive in your heart and you continue the journey and you enter into your promises the fruit of patience that it be revived in your life and you continue the journey let the fruit of faith let it be revived and you continue that call the fruit of patience let it be revived and tomorrow they will come to you the the fruit of patience to lose it it makes you to eat on the fruit of the devil and then it separates you from God and your life is completely destroyed. So lay off all the way that is hindering us and any sin that is clinging on us because when you have the rope in your neck when the goat still has the rope and runs those who are seeking it they will step on the rock and then the goat will stand. Do you know why the devil manages people? It's because they still have the rope around their neck. When he comes back they will just step on that rock. There is something of Egypt you're still walking with. There is something that you don't want to touch. You don't want to take off. And that thing is what is making you to live. Is the gate of the enemy. So let us lay off all that is burdening us of all kinds and any sin that is encircled or clinging on us so that we may run fast where we are supposed to be when in patience. Let us lay off all the works of our character that is not good and let us lay off all the weaknesses and receive power. Another way of losing of laying off is to receive the way you receive heaven is also how the world will get out of you. The way that you have great news from heaven is also how the news from us will get out of you. The more heaven comes down on you, so the world will escape from you. When we say of the world, we are talking about the workings of the world. The working, the wrong working. Be filled with heaven. That this man was possessed with demons. Be filled with the spirit instead of being filled with gas be filled with God and then the world will free from you so let us lay off all that is hindering us amen stand upon your feet and we pray that may God give you a seed that is going to stop the journey of the devil in your life and it's the seed that is going to give you victory the seed that does not die and the seed that does not perish. There is a fruit that gives you a word and gives you authority over the powers of darkness. This seed, let it come up in your life. Lord Jesus, we pray for your people that you should do good to them. May God strengthen them in this journey. Let your spirit of God let it walk with them and also enable them to lay off what is burdening them of all kinds. The spirit of God, let it lead them in the way of righteousness. Let them lay off all what is burdening them. Because also you, you took off what you, was burdening them when they had no control over it. Now deliver their thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ and do good to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May the Lord God bless you. May he do good to you. If you're not yet saved, you don't go home. Come and let Jesus give you the fruit. The fruit that is going to make you have victory. Others, you may go back home with Jesus. 
Let the peace of God be with you. Go and be overcomers. And even more. But if you are not yet saved, come and let Jesus do good to you. Come and encounter Jesus. If you are not yet saved, come and let Jesus do good to you. This is where life starts from. This is where God starts your life. Even you, God, can come to your residue. Come and meet Jesus. That Jesus may do good to you. If you're not yet saved, we are waiting for you here. That you make a step and come forward. And those others, you can go back home with God and go back with Jesus. We shall meet here next week. If you are not yet saved, let us help those let us help those who are online that they may receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Say, Lord Jesus, we have heard your word and he has made our hearts accept and now we are determined to change and also to lay off what is burdening us. We want to be your own people. Come and take our names the names from the book of death and write them in the book of life. Make us your own children and walk with us. Take us into the nation of the promises in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.